Jay, what a way to start 2020, another action-packed thriller against Chippenham Town. Fantastic. That was a challenge, as we said before on the radio. It was, um, can we replicate our form going into 2020? And again, it's, it's not an easy place to come. You know, Mark's teams are very competitive. We know that on, a, again, a small pitch with a slope. Um, but I, th I think the character and the quality of the boys just shone through again. I've said before, these boys find a way to win games. And um, I think we come out deserved winners in the end. I've got to say, I thought Chepenham again started the game ever so well. Probably get a deserved goal. They put us under a bit of pressure. Um, they counteracted our shape, so I've had to change the shape just before half time, two minutes before half time. We've gone back to a 4-4-1-1, like a if you like, um, just, to, just to help the lads out a little bit more. And then I thought second half, I think the key point was, was the equaliser, really. I think Ryan Brunt's timing of the, of the equaliser. We were really disappointed with the disallowed goal, we've got to say, on the far post, because the linesman's given the free kick against Ryan when the referee's literally 10, 15 yards away. I don't understand how that's happened at all. Um, and I thought, I thought the officials were, were poor in what was a, what was a real good local derby they almost ruined it when you see two two sets of managers coming off disappointed already at half time with them um, we've, we've got to have better officials for these games because it means a lot to both teams and um, we don't want we don't want officials costing the game and it hasn't today but we were disappointed with that one that was disallowed um, going at half time at 1-1 and regroup and we come out and then we knew coming down the slope we'd be in the ascendancy we wanted to get the ball down a little bit more because we worked on trying to get Tom Smith beyond a little bit. And once they started to lag off and drop off, we found pockets of space. I thought Manny did well coming off his shape and a wide one. We put Connor out there. We know it's not his accustomed role, but he did a job first half for us. And he knows that we've made a tactical switch with Ross going in. And I've got to say, Ross has been out of the, been in the wilderness a little bit for us. But he's come on and made a huge impact. He's won the penalty and his quality when he was on there was, um, was terrific. So they go right on half time from Ryan Brunt. I mean, Chippenham only took the lead themselves three or four minutes before. Did it change your message to the players at the interval? No, no, our message was the same, and, and it, it is. I mean, we weren't we weren't at our best by no means, but we played four games in a short space of time, and that does that does come into your thinking because physically we weren't as sharp. Physically we weren't we weren't able to to break free and break lines and get on the ball. And I felt as if we gave possession away a little bit too easy for us, for our high standards. Um, but like I say, second half, I thought, I thought we controlled the game. We showed more bravery. I think the shape suited us a little bit more. We got Tom in pockets of space. Ross and Manny coming off a wide one. What it did is also is our fullbacks could come out and join in the 2v1s in wide areas. And we must push them back in there. They put their front three up against us narrow, causes a problem first half. And I've got to say, what a terrific couple of goals then to go and win the game for us. You know, we miss a penalty. But I think it's a really good save from Will. I think he's down and he's just lifted his left hand, so it's not a poor penalty. Um, and then Tom's, before that, Tom's free kick, what a wonderful free kick. He practices them, him and Conor Riley Lowe practice them week in, week out, so we're not surprised to see it go in. Terrific technique, great goal. And I'm really pleased for Louis Britton. He's a goal scorer, isn't he? And you can see when the ball's dropping the box, that was a difficult technique. It's coming on his chest and he's managed to keep the ball down and score a great goal, and I'm really pleased for him. Um, and he could have had another one. He's got one blocked second half, so it could have been more. I'm really pleased for our fans. I've got to say thank you to everyone that's come across. They made it feel like a home game. These are the days you remember. You know, you go second in the league and you go and thank all these fans that have packed out this, this ground in here today. It means a lot to us, honestly, it really does. So um, thanks to the boys that all, and, and ladies that all came across and supported us today. You said your players managed to find a way to win games. That's three times in four now. They've had to come the hard way to do it, recovering all these lost points from, uh, sorry, recovering points from losing positions and the character is still exceptionally high. It is, and sometimes we'll get it wrong as a coaching staff. You know, maybe I set it up wrong from the start of the game. The shape, we felt like it would work, it didn't. But the key to it, I keep saying, is the key is you have to spot it early. I was going to do it earlier again. I'm not, I'm not afraid to do it. I'll do it first half. You've seen me make changes after 30 minutes with personnel as well. And the group understand it. We're doing it for the right reasons. I was a bit, I was angry at myself because I, I felt as if I should have made the change earlier. Not in personnel, in our shape. And um, when we did it, it just felt, it felt natural, it felt better. So some games will suit that, that shape. The, the joy is we can flip it, can't we? We can flip it in personnel and in shape in any given game. So that makes it difficult for opposition. When we do flip it, can they spot it? And then can they do something about it once we've changed? So, um, no, listen, we, we've asked a lot of these players and they haven't got much of a breather because we go again on Saturday. Um, but I'm, I'm so proud of them all, honestly. They're giving everything they've got in their bodies. And it's not easy over Christmas. Let's make no bones about it. It's family time. It's, it's a time for indulgence. They haven't done that. There's lots of sacrifices. We said at half time, don't, don't throw away all your sacrifices you've made to date in this season, especially over the Christmas period. Let's go and win this game and then take it into Saturday and um, look forward to another home tie. You'll go into the game on Saturday, your first one at Twerton Park of the decade, second in the league as well. Is it time to start? Looking at top spot, we we've got our targets in house, Mark, and I say, and I'm not I'm not saying it to be clever. We have got our targets, and we know where we want to be. We want to be better than fifth, and um, it's important that we 
we keep to those goals and targets there. They're weekly, they're monthly, and they're, they're over a longer period. So we know where we want to be. And I won't come out and say that because I think that's important that we keep focused on that. All I'll say to the fans is stay with us because you're, you're watching at the moment probably the best squad I've assembled since I've come into the football club in strength, in depth. And um, the important thing for me now is try and get some of those boys that are with us on loan over the line. And it's, it's, it's proving tricky. I'll be honest with you, it's difficult because when players come to you on loan and they've been successful, of course, clubs in the next level of the pyramid system want to have a look at them and maybe take them. Um, but we feel like we're offering those players at the moment a team that's in good form, are being successful just to date, they won't want anything, and um, playing the right way and developing. They're helping the, we're helping their development and they're helping Bath City Football Club. So I've got to work ever so hard over the course of the next week or so to, um, to try and tie those boys up. Right, three months ago, I remember after the Billericke games, is this the most difficult time you've had in charge at the moment? Yeah. Is this the most enjoyable? I think so. I Listen, I, and as a manager... He, you always looking at the next game. I'm already thinking about Billericay on Saturday. But you, like Jim's right, we're coming off. You have to enjoy these moments. And um, yeah, I've got to be honest. I think I think I think you're seeing an identity in in the football in the club in in the club in general. I think you're seeing an identity in the players that we've managed to to assemble in the team. Um, and that's important. We we won't change the way we are and the way we look. We're a professional outfit on and off the field. I've got I've got such a good staff behind me as well. It's not just me. I've got Jim, I've got sports science with Kit. We've got an excellent goalkeeping coach. We've got really good physios and sports therapists. So there's a lot of hard work that goes on behind the scenes that make this team what they are on a Saturday or a Tuesday, whenever we're playing. I forgot what day it is. Um, so, no, listen, it's a big team effort to date. But second now, in January, January the 1st, nothing. it doesn't mean anything to me other than, other than we put ourselves in a really good position. And it's important we remember that. But we also have to focus on keeping our performance levels as high as what we possibly can week in, week out. Because as I said to you before the game, there's going to be some bumps in the road and it's how you react to it. At the moment, we react in a game individually when we go behind very, very well. How can we react when we might lose one? That's, that's the key. But at the moment, we don't look like we're going to. And that's a really good trait from the team. Well, congratulations. The first league double over Chippenham since 2006-07. And uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy your evening. Thank you. Happy New Year to everyone. Cheers.